Prince Harry is fish out of water on stage with Meghan Markle, expert says. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex took to the stage in Los Angeles on Saturday, but Prince Harry was clearly not happy during his appearance, said the expert. Prince Harry was left looking like a fish out of water when he accepted an award with Meghan on Saturday, according to a body language expert. The prince looked embarrassed and like he doesn't want to be there, expert Dr. Lillian Glass claimed while adding that Meghan on the other hand, is in her element. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex took to the stage in Los Angeles on Saturday and accepted a top accolade at the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People NAACP, Image Awards. They were presented with the prestigious President's Award in recognition of their distinguished public service and humanitarian work. International renowned body language expert Dr. Glass analyzed their appearance at the event. She said there was a distinct difference between the couple's appearance on stage, as Harry appeared uncomfortable compared to his wife. Dr. Glass told The Express, Harry looked like a fish out of water as he didn't know what to do or how to comport himself as he looked down at the award and examined it and then rocked back and forth and pulled away from Megan. He straightened up for a while when she quickly turned her head towards him and shot him a not-so-pleasant look indicating that he was on stage and to be aware of it and to shape up. He purses his lips in embarrassment and then cocks his head like a wounded puppy and then looks at the camera. He is not smiling the whole time he is up there. He then forgets and looks back at her and looks down and then returns to facing the camera. While looking at the camera he continues to rock back and forth like a child that feels uncomfortable because they have a full bladder. Dr. Glass said Harry's rocking back and forth indicated he didn't really want to be at the event. She added, Megan on the other hand is in her element as she looks directly into the camera and speaks eloquently. Dr. Glass also said the Duke's appearance was surprising, considering he had grown up in front of a camera. She noted, Harry is clearly not happy and uncomfortable as indicated through his body language at this event. During their acceptance speech the Sussexes paid tribute to the people of Ukraine amid the ongoing crisis and called for global support for the country. Harry took a moment to talk about the war, the need to fight injustice and listen to the voiceless, saying, before I begin, we would like to acknowledge the people of Ukraine who urgently need our support as a global community. I think it's safe to say I come from a very different background to my incredible wife, yet our lives were brought together for a reason. We share a commitment to a life of service, a responsibility to confront injustice and a belief that the most overlooked are often the most important to listen to. The couple's public activism has resulted in criticism from some royal watchers, however, Meghan added that she couldn't be prouder that we're doing this work together. The Duchess then said, We are so deeply humbled to be here in the company of such illustrious awardees. Harry wore a black tuxedo by Oswald Boateng for the night, while Meghan sported a sapphire blue gown by Christopher John Rogers. The award ceremony marked the Sussexes' first joint public appearance of the year, which sparked a flurry of excitement from their supporters. Former recipients of the President's Award include Muhammad Ali, former U.S. President Bill Clinton and singer Rihanna. Also at the event, Meghan and Harry launched the new NAACP Archil Digital Civil Rights Award, in recognition of those who are creating transformational change at the intersection of social justice and technology. The award is a collaboration between Meghan and Harry's Archil organization and the NAACP.